Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at reading video scopes and doing color correction inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I define and illustrate the different grayscale categories that are shown on a waveform monitor. The waveform monitor, which is illustrated in this large drawing on the right, shows us the grayscale values of an image, and it divides it into seven regions. If we start at the top, the region from 100% to 120%, this region right in here, is called super white. These are illegal levels everywhere except for the web. So we want to make sure that we don't have any white levels that extend over 100% into super white. The 100% line is called the white line. This is exactly where your video levels are at 100%. That's the whitest or brightest your image can be without becoming illegal. The section immediately below the 100% line are called highlights. This is like the top third of your grayscale values from 65 to 100%. This is where the energy and the, the enthusiasm of your image lies. The middle third, called mids or mid-tones or mid-grays, are video levels between about 35 and 65%. And the bottom third, called shadows, are video levels between 0 and 35 percent. Shadows provide vibrancy and richness. Midtones provide time of day and emotion. And highlights provide energy or excitement. Notice this thin line right here. This is something we needed for analog work, but we don't need for digital. This marks a 7.5 percent IRE. This is where black levels needed to be for analog work. For digital, we ignore this small line completely. The line that's right at zero is the black line. This is where your video levels are at zero percent. This is as dark as your image can go. Below zero is super black, also an illegal value which could extend down to negative 20. Super blacks are illegal. Super whites are illegal. We need to keep all of our grayscale values between zero black and 100% white, and all the shades of gray in between. This green line represents a gradient. You'll see this more in just a second. This represents the complete range of grayscale values from 100% white to 0% white, or 100% black. And that's what we see here on the scope, extending from the left to the right side. This green bar on the right represents the entire range of grayscale values visible on the scope. It starts at zero goes to 100%. This is like a fast way of reading whether your white levels are excessive or black levels are excessive or if you've got room to make adjustments. This is terminology that we use all the time and I wanted to define it before we started to take a look at the scopes themselves because it's easy to see when it's magnified here. If you need to stretch your training dollars, the subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 104.